I am an award-winning painter. How can I prove that? I'd have to show you that I could paint, right? I'd have to pull out the paintings that I could do. I would maybe stand here and paint uh, a beautiful scene for you. But I can't paint. I can't even do paint by number, color by number. I can't do any of that. I'm not very talented at all. So if I say something, I have to back it up with action or else it's not true. Well, that's what happened in the gospel today. Jesus said, I am forgiving you your sin to the man who is the paralytic, paralyzed man. And everyone says, oh, you can't do that. And Jesus says, I will show you I can forgive sins. Okay, Mr. Paralytic, rise up and walk. And the guy gets up and walks. So Jesus proved he could forgive sin, something that is invisible in a way, by proving something visible. He gave us miracles on this earth to prove that another realm exists, one that is invisible. And that's what miracles are all about, brothers and sisters. We pray for miracles each day. Health miracles, miracles in our families, in the world. We want them, we need them. And they're good to ask for. But brothers and sisters, those miracles point to something even deeper. That yes, God exists in this life. But there is a world to come. And these miracles point to that world. Forgiveness of sin, brothers and sisters, is so much more important than even whatever might ail us in this world because that opens up the entryway to eternity. So brothers and sisters, let's pray for miracles in this world. But let's pray for them so that the world may know that there is a deeper miracle that happens each day in this church and is available to each one of us. That is, the Lord comes to us, the Lord forgives us his sins, our sins, and opens the pathway, not just to life in this world, which it does, but eternal life in the next.